Coming up, we take a look at the budget price Samsung Galaxy fame. Hey everyone, I am Chris Wook. Now when you think of Samsung phones, you probably think of its flagships like the Galaxy S4. But what about its more budget-oriented options? How little is too little when it comes to specs? Well, let's take a look and see what we've got here. The Samsung Galaxy Fame has a 3.5-inch display and is powered by a single-core 1GHz CPU. For memory, we're looking at 512 megs of RAM and 4 gigs of internal storage, which is expandable by microSD. On the back, we have the 5 megapixel rear facing camera, capable of shooting VGA resolution video, paired with the 0.3 megapixel camera up front. A 1300 milliamp hour battery provides the power. Essentially, the Galaxy Fame takes the look and feel of a lot of other recent Samsung devices, throws them in a blender, and then shrinks them all down. The power button and volume rocker, for example, are right where you'd expect them. It is a little curvier than, say, the S4, and while it's not that thick, it feels thicker and heavier than other Samsung phones because of its smaller general size. For some, it might be a little too small, but for those with smaller hands, it could be a nice change of pace. The display is usually one of the low points with phones like the Galaxy Fame, and we didn't find any exceptions here. The small 3.5 inch screen size and resolution of 320 by 480 results in a pixel density of just around 165 pixels per inch. Not surprisingly, that leaves us with a not too sharp screen. There are also issues with contrast. While the screen can get fairly bright, it looks washed out at pretty much any level of brightness. To gauge performance, we turned to our usual test suite. 10 runs of Antutu Benchmark left us with an average score of just above 5,000, but individual runs went as low as 3,100 and as high as around 8,400, though that one seems to have been a fluke. We tried Epic Citadel, but it refused to run. Real-world performance definitely felt a little sluggish, especially scrolling through the home screens or the app drawer. Light gaming is a possibility, but don't set your expectations too high. The Galaxy Fame runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, skinned with Samsung's TouchWiz UI. While TouchWiz definitely has its fans, we would have preferred something with less of an impact on performance in this case. Looking at included apps, we have most of the usual suspects from Samsung, S Planner, ChatOn, and GameHub, for example, but no S Voice. The document editor QuickOffice, My Files, and the always handy Dropbox are included as well. Looking at the specs and the budget nature of the phone, we didn't expect much from the camera, but were somewhat pleasantly surprised, at least in well lit situations. Colors can be a little washed out depending on the subject, but photos were fairly sharp and detailed. In low light, photos get ugly pretty quickly, with blurring and noticeable visual noise. While the camera is capable of recording video, the resolution is limited to VGA or 640x480 resolution, so while it's okay for capturing a quick moment, it's not going to look too nice on a computer or on a TV. Packing a 1300 milliamp hour battery might seem a little crazy, but keep in mind that it doesn't really have to power a whole lot. During benchmarking and testing, our review unit was down to around 50% in about 5 hours, but that was pretty heavy use. Getting through a full 18 hour day shouldn't be a problem, but if it is, the battery is replaceable, so you can always carry a spare or get an extended battery. Ignoring the budget price, the Galaxy Fame has two major things going for it. It's Samsung-y style, and it's smaller size. If neither of these options matter to you, there are a ton of other options available for the money. If you want to know more, we have a full written review at AndroidAuthority.com. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, we'd love it if you would let us know by giving it a like or sharing it with your friends. If you want to keep track of what we're up to, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thank you for watching.